It's your boy, CG. It's me. You already know the deal, gentlemen. I'm back with some more heat and another freaking bang. So before I even get started and dive into this very, very, very important topic, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the Patreon for only $5 a month. Going to be having a lot more fitness, fitness content on there. Y'all do not want to miss out on that. So subscribe to the Patreon for only $5 a month. Smash the like button, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications and send me the freaking moon, y'all. So anyway, I'm sure y'all have heard the news. Euphoria, this dumbass, horrible, garbage show Euphoria is now trending. Everybody's watching it. It's all over Twitter, all over social media, all over TikTok. Oh my God, all the girls are like, oh my God, have you have you seen Euphoria, CG? Have you watched Euphoria? You wanna watch Euphoria with me? No, I do not wanna watch Euphoria with you. I watched like half the first episode and when there was like a 60 year old guy wanting to get with like a 17 year old that was like her teacher or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'm not watching the show. And I'm going to tell you guys the reason why it's so popular. And no, I'm not going to tell you guys, explain the ending of Euphoria. It's a clickbait title if you haven't got the point. Um, <laughs> got him. But the reason why all these women love Euphoria so much and the reason why um, all these chicks are talking about Euphoria is because one, it's just an excuse to watch porn. Um, and two, why do you think um, among women, the sales of books such as like the Fifty Shades of Grey shows like euphoria shows like twilight um all these different type of fantasy shows and books and movies why do you think they're so popular among women Th think about that and, and ask yourself that before i answer it to you well the answer is that euphoria is just an excuse to watch porn 50 shades of gray and all them other different types of books including euphoria and entertainment sources are just an excuse for them to to live out their fantasies through shows, movies, books, TV, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, when in the show Euphoria, they talk about getting drugged, having sex. Zendaya is not pretty at all. I don't think Zendaya is pretty at all. Um, so that's another reason why I won't watch the show. But they talk about drugs, having sex, um, in Fifty Shades of Grey, having sex, getting tied up, all the, all those different things. Twilight, the forbidden relationship. Um, what other thing did I mention? But you guys get what I'm saying. It's all taboo stuff. So women, they know they can't live out these fantasies in their day-to-day -day lives. They can't be getting drugged every day at parties and having sex and doing this and that and other. So they live vicariously through shows such as Euphoria. They live their their fantasies throughout shows such as um, Fifty Shades of Grey. They live their, their taboo relationship of, of the guy their dad doesn't want them dating through Twilight and shows like that. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why these women love these type of weird, crazy shows so much. You'll never get it. I don't know any guys that, that like Euphoria. You know what I mean? That are sitting there watching Euphoria. I didn't know any guys that are sitting there posting uh, during the Super Bowl. Oh, after the Super Bowl, I'm going to go watch Euphoria. Like, come on now. And that's another thing, too, is that they're all sheep. They're all herd mentality. So when one person decides that a show is pretty, that a show's is um, trending, that a show's nice to watch, that Zendaya is beautiful and all this that and the other. People are gonna watch it. It, it. They can put any type of garbage show on TV, but just because someone trendy is in it or just because it's trendy and mad people are watching it, it's, most people don't even like the show. But they'll watch the show because other people are watching the show and it seems cool to watch the show. Most people don't even wanna watch the show or don't even enjoy watching it, but they'll watch it and post about it just to be cool and fit in. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people are like that, and it's just weird, bro. It's dead ass so weird. So, all these women and stuff that are posting about Euphoria, that like Euphoria so much, they don't. Re most of them don't even really like the show, but they like the idea of the show. They like the fantasy behind the show. They like fantasizing about being drugged and having sex and getting tied up and not being able to move and all this, this, that, and the other. You feel me? Why do you think women like Fifty Shades of Grey so much? Because they talk about being tied up, talk about being choked, talk about being dogged out by a guy in power, by a guy more powerful than them. That's the type of fantasy that, that these women want. You feel what I'm saying? So when you get into a relationship with a chick, when you're dating a chick, you need to be living out her fantasies like that. You need to be helping her live out her fantasies or she's gonna cheat on you and find a guy who 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 is gonna live out her fantasies with. If you're not the guy that she's living out her fantasies with, she's gonna cheat on you or she's gonna find a different guy later down the road that she can live out her fantasies with. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why women love shows like Euphoria so much. Why they love shows like Fifty Shades of Grey, um, all this, that, and the other, because like I just said, they wanna live out their fantasies. 
they want to do stuff that's taboo. They want to watch stuff that's taboo because they don't live through through logic. You feel what I'm saying? They live through emotions. So when they watch these shows, they try to imagine themselves in that situation and it gives them some type of emotion. It gives them some type of thrill. So when they're watching Euphoria, they're not watching it because they think, oh my God, Zendaya is so pretty or oh my God, I really like this show or the idea of this show or the plot or whatever it may be. I, I like the visual. Some people watch shows with the visuals. Not nah, they, they don't like the show for any of those reasons. They like the show because it's talking about being drugged, having sex. It's a free excuse to watch porn. It's a free excuse to live out their fantasies. So they're going to want to watch shows like that because it's going to give them an emotional roller coaster. It's going to give them, um, damn, I want to get dogged out by him. Damn, I want that to happen to me at a party. And they'll say they don't want the ha that to happen to them at a party. But deep, deep down they do because it's programming. You feel what I'm saying? So most of these people posting about Euphoria don't even really like the show, but they'll watch it because it's trendy. They'll fit in because it's trendy. Because like I said, they're all sheep. It's a herd mentality. So once one person likes the show and decides that it's trendy, somebody posts about it on TikTok, they might not even like the show, like I just said, but they'll watch it because they'll want to fit in. They'll watch it because it's popular. You feel what I'm saying? They'll watch it because everyone else is watching it. So I have to be on that trend because I don't want to miss out. It's the same thing where, where, where the new kid in school, the cute kid in school, all of a sudden he gets a bad girlfriend and now everybody wants a piece of him. It's the same thing as that. Girls might not even find you attractive, but once you get a bad girlfriend, girls might not even find you attractive. Once you get that blue check on Instagram, she might not even find you attractive. But once you come up on a bag, once you start getting some money, once you start getting good at something, then she wants to be a part of you. Then she starts to like you. And then all her friends and all the other girls start to like you too. Not because they think you're attractive, but because you're trendy, because you're popular. So the moral of this video is that they're sheep. The moral of this video is that they're groupies. They're, they're most of them, not all of them, I should say it like that. But um, it's like a group mentality. So once you become popular, she'll start to like you. Once you get that blue check on Graham, she'll start to like you. Once you come up on a bag, she'll start to like you. Once you get good at something, she'll start to like you. Once you get trendy, she'll start to like you. She might not like you at first, just like the show. She might not like the show. But once you, you get trendy, once people start talking about you, then she has to be a part of you. Then she feels obligated to be a part of you. You feel what I'm saying? So all these shows, and then that's one message y'all gonna get out of this video. And then two, all these shows, the Fifty Shades of Grey, the Euphoria, all the sad and the other. All the, these girls, they're living out their fantasies through the show. They might not even like the show, like I just said, but they'll watch it because it's trendy, one. And then two, they're living out their fantasies through the show. They want to get drugged and, and, and not be able to move and some guys having their way with them and stuff like that. You feel what I'm saying? It's a fantasy. Why do you think Fifty Shades of Grey is so popular? Why do you think the show Euphoria is so popular? I don't even have to watch the show to, to know what it's about. You dig? So they, they, they're living out their fantasies through these shows because they're visual. You feel what I'm saying? They're emotional. Roller coaster. So when you get in a relationship with a chick, when you're dealing with a woman, you gotta live out her fantasies. You have to be the guy she's living out her fantasies with because if not, it's over with, bro. It's over with. And if you're not that dude that she's living out her fantasies with, she will find somebody who is. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace out, y'all.